OK, so again, we notice the tangent we're subtracting. So via the tangent formula for the difference of two angles, I'm just going to go right to the formula. That's going to be the tangent of 45 degrees minus the tangent of 120 degrees. Wait a minute, actually, I do need to check this out. Why did I do that? No, it's not going to be 20. <sighs> That's fine. We'll do this one, then we'll do another one. That's OK. Yeah, we'll do this one. Why not? Um, sorry, I'm just confusing my numbers with the app. Okay. I, I changed some of the problems from the last class period, so I was trying to like get a different variety. And I, the numbers actually didn't work out the way I was thinking. Anyways, though, plug this in. So that, the, really, the reason why I'm telling you guys I was looking for a different answer is just because I'm looking to give you guys a different result. But that's fine. We have actually plenty of time. OK. Yes? Because that's the formula. Remember, it's plus minus. So whatever you do here, you're doing it in the numerator. But you're doing the opposite in the denominator. Look at the, look, do, you, do you see the formula, though, how it makes sense? One is plus minus. The other one's minus plus. In the formula for tangent, the numerator is plus minus, the denominator is minus plus. So it's the opposite. All right, so now we're just going to evaluate. And actually, that's not too bad. We can do this one. So we have square root of 45 degrees, which in this case is tangent. That's going to be first quadrant. That's 1. That's kind of easy, right? We like that. Tangent of 120 degrees. So let's just think about what is the reference angle for 120 degrees? 60. So what is the tangent of 60 degrees? Does anybody remember that one? Well, we already did pi over, we already did 30 degrees. So what's, what's the tangent of 30 degrees, which is the same thing, uh, I'm sorry, 60 degrees. Same thing as pi over 3. Y coordinate over X coordinate. Remember when I told you guys you need to know the unit circle for this chapter very well? It's square root of 3. Now, but, Actually, I got to take that back. That was for the reference angle. This is tangent in the second quadrant, isn't it? So tangent is negative in the second quadrant. So it's actually a negative square root of 3. We'll simplify it in a second. But just make sure you understand where the angle is, right? Tangent is negative in the second quadrant. Um, over here, then we have 1 plus 1 tangent of 45 degrees times this negative square root of 3. So now when I simplify this, I get 1 plus the square root of 3 all over 1 minus the square root of 3. OK, fair enough. But now what do I do with that? You could, but if you recall, last chapter I talked about we practiced like of rewriting it in a simplified version where there's a radical not in the denominator. right? Which, what do we call that concept? Uh, Rationalizing the denominator. So that's a, so, and that was also in the what you need to know for this chapter, since you guys all did that prior to your quiz. You're just going to multiply by the conjugate. Now again, the nice thing about multiplying by the conjugate, that produces a difference of two squares in the denominator. And in the numerator, you just need to apply FOIL. Hopefully you guys recognize this is a perfect square trinomial. Like this produces. The same thing multiplied by itself, right? So therefore, I can write this as 1 plus 2 square root of 3 plus 3 all over 1 minus 3. If not, just do FOIL. 1 times 1 is 1. This would be square root of 3, square root of 3. Square root of 3 plus square root of 3 is 2 square root of 3. And then square root of 3 times square root of 3 is 3. Now I can simplify this to 4 plus 2 square root of 3 all over negative 2, which gives me a negative 2 minus the square root of 3. Whew. Pretty cool, huh? No? You guys want to try one? No? Sure. As long as it's not what? 